Uh, our next guest uh, is brand new to this uh, to the Empire View stage, but she's an amazing storyteller, and we're psyched that she's here uh, to join us tonight. So please put your hands together. Welcome our good friend Ginny Dunleavy. <laughs> Nice to see you. And as a storyteller, I'll tell you, when Keith told me, um, you know, would you like to come do the Empire Review? I was thrilled. I was so stoked. This is like my moment. And uh, he said, it's the casual show. And I was like, oh, huh. I'm trying to think of casual. Um, so what I thought about was when I moved to Southern California in the late 80s, uh, almost all my stories are 80s stories, but the late 80s, um, I moved to Southern California. And I realized really, really quickly when I got to SoCal that I am an East Coast girl. Yeah. I have East Coast attitude, and more than that, I have Rhode Island East Coast attitude. Right? Right? Like, if you don't know what that means, my sister's job, first job, was at All Max. Right? And I was hustling green stamp books. I'd be like, oh, can we go see Fanny at the Slater Park Zoo, Mrs. Bouchard? No. I got 10 packs of SNS. You know, I'd be there, right? Um, I mean, I am so, so free to Rhode Island that the first time when I got my period, my dad wasn't home. My dad was home. My mother wasn't around. You know, dad's back then, fucking useless. And he was like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? He's like, hold on, I'll be right back. And he came back with an awful, awful and Adele's. Right? Because he's a good dad, right? Like, so he was like, I mean, literally, my first kiss was on the tram at Rocky Point when my husband and I got married. Shorty served our meal off of his arm. Um, right? So I've got my Rhode Island hustle on, and then I head out there. And one of the first things I did, I just got to SoCal, and I went into a Baskin Robbins. And I was like, hey, I'll, I'll have a um, coffee ice cream cone. They're like, coffee? Coffee and ice cream? Coffee with milk? Cold coffee? This is the 80s. I mean, it's taken off, guys. But back in the 80s, it was nowhere. So I was like, yeah, I, I just, you know, we don't have that. It's like, all right, can I have a strawberry? Can I get Jimmy's? <laughs> Jimmy's, I can, I can see them right over there. I want them. Chocolate ones. Do you mean sprinkles? <laughs> like, yeah. Fucking sprinkles. Can you put some sprinkles on? And as I'm walking down the street and I'm eating this ice cream cone, people are like, hey, that looks great. <laughs> what flavor is that? <laughs> hey, it's getting hot. You better eat it before it melts. Fuck you, motherfucker! One more person talks to me about my ice cream cone, I'm gonna kick your ass! So I go and I get my very first job, and it's at a brewery, which was another big deal. It was kind of cool. I eventually wanted to be a bartender. I'd never done it before. How hard could this be? So I get this job at this brewery. And my first day, um, I'm in there, and I was given the two tables in the back. And these, these, these other servers, they're all from pretty much the University of SoCal, and they'd be like, oh my god. I've got the patio tonight. I'm like, oh my god, you've got the patio. You're so lucky. I got these two tables by the bathroom. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be so busy. <laughs> I'm like, I know, it's awesome, man. What I want to do for the patio? And then eventually she'd be like, listen, Janae, I have another table. Can you take it? I was like, yeah, I can take it. And I'm, I'm working the table, and finally the people next to him are like. Could you tell our server, you know, that we and I'd go back and be like, hey, listen, your other table. She's like, oh, I'm just gonna transfer it to you. I was like, yes, you are. And I'm working that very first night, you guys, I made my rent. I had the whole patio. I was slinging these beers. And one of the things that the brewery had, which this was a huge faux pas on their part, it was brand new, but they had these Pilsner glasses that were big on top. And then they got skinnier, you know, and a glass bottom, they were kind of tippy, and on your tray it was it was a little bit of a challenge. People would get intimidated. Um, but that night, you should have seen me. I was like, I was like, like a whirling dervish with my trash. <laughs> it was good. But one thing that I didn't do well was, is because I'm a Rhode Islander, I'd be like, you want a large beer? You want a porta, a lager, Pilsner? People were like, what are you saying? I'm like, a beer, you want a beer? 
I got a Bia. So, um, but there was this one girl, her, her name was Amber. No surprise there. And um, she was like, geez, Ginny, why do you always make so much money than all the rest of us? And I was like, Amber, you gotta hustle. I know you're from Southern California, you gotta put a little giddy up. Like, people want you to check in, people want you to do that. And so I kind of took her under my wing. And at the same time, I was getting promoted and promoted, and we had been working together for a couple of years, and Amber's game was really up. And one day, um, I knew Amber, and she came in, she goes, Ginny, I'm so thrilled, I've been accepted to Tufts. And she wanted to be a vet, she was thrilled. And I was like, all right, you gotta have your New England on, right? You gotta be ready, Amber. You don't wanna get eaten up, like I'm worried about her. And I'm watching her. And I was the manager, and so the bar was long, and then you'd hit the bar, and then there'd be the part where we sold the swag, like the sweatshirts and things. And I was standing there watching Amber. And she is just working the room. People are getting in her way. She's kind of kicking them, right? Get out of my way. I was like, I'm, I'm, the pride is just swelling up in me. I'm, I'm so thrilled about her. And I'm standing behind my thing, and I'm kind of leaning against the case, gloating, right? Just like, Look what I've created. And all of a sudden, I see this guy grab her ass, like under her skirt, grab her ass. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. test time. Because I'm ready to jump over the bar and go after the guy's jugular, right? And he's wearing a tank top. It's a Steelers tank top. He's got those shorts that are too long. They're almost like they're not fucking capris, but they're like, what is that all about? I mean, it's just, I hated him. I mean, I hated him before and after. And, and all of a sudden, Amber turns and he says, I just wanted to see if your ass was as tight as it looked. Oh. And it is. Without missing a beat, you guys, she's got a tray. She's got five on her tray. Some sort of freak of physics. She <laughs> takes that tray and she goes. <laughs> right into his lap. Class! <laughs> Like I think far as every is crashing all over, she just leans in, looks up at him. She says, I just wanted to see if your dick was as small as it looked. <laughs> yup. <laughs> and that's my makeup. Thank you.